He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive and not get knocked out. An elbow! Himself. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Boom! Big jab. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, big up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. One and a half minutes to go in this third and final round. things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this country. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He's got the timer in that kick. These guys throwing early. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Great time. And and potentially a critical takedown here. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 27 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rockiezis. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they clinch once again. Oh, there's another power takedown there. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch land. Ooh. Both fighters get up now. And that is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, let this fight him do the talking to him. Let this fight do the talking to him. He's all business. He's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's the guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets his title. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, damaging work here. Nice elbows. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown? Another big takedown. Oh, wow, oh, oh! And he's out. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now, he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single, switched to a high cross. Oh, takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. All 
right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you control the underhook on the far side. If you get up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. He really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, to feel good about the way things are going, he gets an A on his report card because takedown after takedown was secured, top position was secured, and as you watch that clock start to go up to the top situation, him and his team are ecstatic because yeah. they know that they're on top. When they're secured takedowns, they're winning. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Nice. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any. What a land right there, the seven blow of the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot and got defended as you would expect it to. Man, he's just got to go. Oh, huge right hand. He needs to start looking for finish on strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky Edwards. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. Are you going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.